What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to spoof your iOS location using a software called iMyPhone Any2, which is available for you to get both for Windows and Mac OS here on the iMyPhone website on the iMyPhone.com location changer. So this one basically can fake the location on your device. It can basically simulate a specific road or a specific location, and you can even change it so that it looks like you're moving towards a specific point. This is great for applications or even for games where you have to move move. Though do keep in mind that depending on the application, it may be against their terms and conditions, so do check that. But yes, this works with all location-based applications and even AR games or social platforms and stuff like that. If you want to conceal your location for privacy reasons and stuff, you can definitely do so. And even if you want to play like Pokemon Go and so on without moving, you can do so with this app. There is a free trial available, but the application is also available for Windows and Mac OS, so check it out. The program itself, once you get it, looks like this. You basically basically connect your phone to it and it says customize your location or root flexibility. So I'm going to go ahead and move it towards the side here and I'm going to screencast my phone. All right, so you can see here is my phone. I have a lot of applications installed. I am normally jailbroken on this phone, but right now the jailbreak is not active. You can see it crashes. In order to change the location, I'm going to use this program over here, iMyPhone Any2. But first, let me show you what it says. The location services are enabled and if I go here to weather, it says that Milan is basically my location at the moment. You can see the little arrow in there showing my location and then if I go here on the maps it shows exactly the location I'm in which is basically Milan Italy so let's go ahead and change it I'm gonna leave this application open for now and I'm gonna go here on the program press get started and it's gonna ask which device to connect you can actually connect even with the Wi-Fi devices that you have synchronized with your Mac or your Windows computer but I have this one plugged into the computer I'm gonna press OK and that's it it connected now it says loading the map and there you go as you can see I have basically everything over here I can select whichever location I want and there are a couple of options at the top the first one is teleport mode so if I use this mode which is the default one it would basically jump from one location to another so let's say I want to go to New York all right I'm gonna change it to New York New York United States like this it goes over here and then I can use the map in order to select the location more accurately so I'm gonna go over here and press move. You can see the distance as well and you can even start the locations. And once I press move and press move again, as you can see, the phone doesn't show that I'm in Milan anymore. And if I go over here and I press the location button, it goes directly into New York. So as you can see, the device now believes I really am in New York. Let me actually close the weather application and open it back again. And as you can see, it changed to New York now on the location part in there. Let's change it again. This time I'm going to go to Paris, France. And that's it. In a couple of seconds, it will change. Let me actually refresh the uh, weather application. I'm going to close it and open it back again. And it should change from New York to Paris, as you can see over here. So the phone now really believes that I am in Paris. And if I open the Maps application and I press the Location button over here, it goes to Paris. You can see over here. So there you go. Now, the other buttons in here provide multi-spot mode and even two-spot mode. I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select another route. For example, I'm going to go to Rome. And as you can see, the route would be basically from where I am in Paris all the way up to Rome. And here I can select basically the speed, whether I want it to be like walking speed or motorcycle speed, like bike speed and even car. You can select realistic mode here and it's going to try to approximate how much time it would actually take from your location. But I'm going to go by car and I'm going to press move. And at this point, the phone will basically believe that you are indeed moving from Paris to Rome. And as you can see on the program here, it really shows exactly the route that it's going to take and where it's going to arrive. So right now, the phone believes you really are in a car and you really are moving. This is useful for games like Pokemon Go and so on. And if I go here on the location, you can see exactly what's going on. I'm still in Paris, but I am moving. If we stop this and I actually select a different location, which is much closer, for example, this one here, and I press move by car, you can see exactly how fast it moves. So you can see here on the device, on the maps application, exactly where it moves. It moves in real time. So that's basically how you do it. That's how you change your location very easily. And you don't even have to have the program open. Once you set the parameters like I did here, you can close the program, disconnect from the computer, and your device will still believe you're still moving until you reboot the phone. To get back to your default location, all you have to do would basically be to reboot the phone or select the normal location back in the program. But rebooting the phone would basically be enough. So make of that what you wish. There are many uses for this kind of application, especially for games that require movement and stuff like that. But this is how you spoof your location, including creating a 
a specific trip. You can get the program on the iMyPhone website. It's iMyPhone NE2 and it supports iOS 15 as well. It supports all the way up to the latest devices. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.